Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about equivalence class. Equivalence class is a relation and it contains set. For example, if you have an equivalence relation, it means firstly it must be reflexive and transitive and symmetric our relation must reflexive transitive and symmetric if the relation contains these three skills then it is equivalence relation so it has equivalence class. The definition of equivalence class, for example, the equivalence class of X is, is it contains a set of elements. It is not equal to one number or one constant. It is set. It equals to what? It equals to Y, but uh, which kind of y you order per x and y is belongs to the relation and y belongs to a a is that set which is which it has x, y, and everything, and every element, which we uh, do comparative with x. So, or we say the class of A is equals to x. Which x? That x which has the order per with a in the relation and x belongs to x belongs to a a is set any set it is the definition of equivalence class so for example if you have the set a is equals to 1, 2, 3. It is set of all elements of A. Then it is A. That A. We take X, Y, or A, or anything in A capital. They are only 1, 2, 3, not else. Then our relation for example we say the relation is 1 and 1 2 and 2 3 and 3 2 and 3 2 and uh, 3 and 3 and 2 so, it's relation on this set. We want to find the class of 1. The class of 1 is equals to... To what? This, uh, for example, we say X, but uh, the order per 1 and X belongs to the relation and x belongs to a then we have 1 and 1 then 1 is belongs to the class of 1 and we haven't anything with 1 then the class of 1 is equals to 1 
and class of 2 it is we have 2 and 2 and there's 2 in the class of 2 and we have uh, 2 and 3 and there's 3 in the class of 2 so class of 2 has two elements 2 and 3 by the relation and uh, according with that our relation is equivalence so it is reflexive transitive symmetric so the class of 3 is we have 3 and 3 then Three is belongs to the set of class of three, and uh, we have three and two. Then two is belongs to the class of three, because the order for three and two, three and two belongs to the relation. Then two is belongs to the class of three. So, if you look at that. These two fit sets, they are equal because in the set, ascending and descending and uh, order is not important in set. Then these two sets, they are equal. Then we can say the class of two is equals to the class of three. It's all about equivalence class.